their regional advocacy advisor for East Africa and uh, Yemen, Jeremy Taylor, joins us now live from Nairobi. Welcome to the program. Uh, do you have an idea, first of all, of the death toll, the official death toll in those three months of fighting in the Tigray region? Because a media report um, said that a trio of opposition parties in uh, Ethiopia's Tigray region estimated that more than 50,000 civilians had been killed in that period. We face an unprecedented situation, in fact, and the key part of what makes it so difficult and so unprecedented is that we don't know. We don't know the full extent of the displacement. We don't know the full extent of the need. And we don't know the full extent of how many civilians have been killed and, and displaced from their homes. And this is because we're actually, we as a, as a community of humanitarians, are not able to get into, into Tigray. And so in many instances, we just don't know. Um, and that's, that's the biggest challenge that we face currently. And why can't you get in? I, your secretary general said uh, that aid was still not reaching Tigray since the start, since three months in, uh, since the fighting. Yes, yeah, so we're now almost uh, 13 weeks in since this conflict started, and effectively a humanitarian response has not started. Um, the scale, the, the breadth of, of what a normal humanitarian response or a response that would, re would be required um, given the, the extent of the need, just hasn't been able to start. So what has happened is there's been a trickle of aid. Um, a small trickle has reached certain areas. Uh, these are areas, um, main cities controlled uh, by government, um, areas along the borders of Tigray, the southern borders in, in particular. But large chunks of the central and western parts of the region have just not been able to be reached at all. Uh, this is due to a, a, a range of bureaucratic constraints, essentially. Um, there are various processes that aid agencies need to go through to get um, the requisite permissions to, to, enter, the, to enter the region. Um, and these are slow, the processes change, um, and uh, the permissions are just, not, are just not coming. And so as a result, um, we are uh, on standby, we are spending vast amounts of time going through the various processes, responding to the changes in the bureaucratic um, requests. But in essence, we, we're just not able to get in um, in the scale that is needed. And so you can't get in, but can you communicate? Are the uh, lines of communication open, flowing? Um, on the whole, no. So uh, they have improved. Uh, in the first weeks of the conflict, there was an absolute and complete uh, blackout of telecommunications, uh, internet, uh, road closures, and so on. Um, we have now got some access uh, through telephones to the capital, for example, to Mekele. Um, but large swathes of the region still have no telecoms, no internet, no electricity, um, and uh, the roads are still closed. So not only aid agencies can't get in, um, but of course, uh, private traders, uh, we, we, we recognize that the markets are under stress. So, you know, for most parts of the country, um, the situation remains critical and, and dire. And Jeremy, what would you want the government of Ethiopia to do? Well, we've worked with the government for, for many years, and we recognize and acknowledge that the government has the capacity and uh, the ability to, to coordinate uh, a, a humanitarian response on the scale that's necessary. So what we're asking is that they allow us um, and that they work with us and they allow us, they allow us to get in. Um, we, we, need to, we need these processes to, to be much faster. We're asking for a blanket um, access permission, essentially, um, for, for aid agencies that work in Tigray to be able to take in both personnel um, and aid supplies. Because currently there's two parallel processes, one for personnel and one for supplies, and these processes often don't match. Um, so we're asking for blanket um, approvals for, for our supplies and for our personnel, and for us to be able to access all parts of Tigray. We hope things change and we wish you the best of luck uh, with that. Uh, Jeremy Taylor speaking to us from Nairobi, thank you very much.